it's a Friday in June. 12. 12, is it? It's the 12th. Lottie's here to assist me in the second of my stash dive videos. Uh, today we're going to look at the things that lurk under the bed. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, so we've got kits, um, a few books, more kits, um, yeah, and that's pretty much, and we'll just see what we find and where where we go. So I hope you're all well and are having, um, getting plenty of stitches in. I am, I'm having, um, I do like working from home and then this school run nonsense. Uh, so it's, um, I'm, I'm finding my, I'm having plenty of time to stitch, it's lovely. So anyway let's just jump in so as you know I have a cross stitcher magazine or two and a wax and also cross stitch crazy at the last count we estimated it was somewhere between four and five hundred magazines um, probably nearer the higher number so as you can see there's a, a few here um, I have 20 I've just counted up I have 25 magazine files of magazines some of them are the thinner ones like these ones here others are the sort of the thicker ones so that's the big basket no that's including the big basket darling so yeah so i have about 10 cross stitcher and eight world of cross stitch and what's that one two three yeah something like that and uh, you know what and a file of mis miscellaneous ones so uh, that's about a 15 year collection give or take 14 years which has left me let's just pop that over there for now left me with quite a few cover kits that I'd actually quite like to stitch now you know I give a lot of them away but I have let's just take a few off the top a box and we Lottie and I counted these a few weeks ago Lottie counted them a few weeks ago she's looking most indignant now that I've claimed any part in having counted them um, and we had 105 now since then we've um, I've added a couple in we've taken a few out ready for Jolly July and oh, sure. teacher gifts um, yeah. and a couple that we went through and I went actually I'm never gonna stitch those so I'm guessing with that recounting somewhere between 95 and 100 now and I also have a, um, I have six or seven downstairs so I thought I'd pick out thank you Lottie I thought I'd pick out a few of my favorites and go I wonder why I've not stitched those yet um, so anyway so my favorites tend to come from cross stitch magazine I will say I just if I, if you told me tomorrow I could only have one magazine subscription it would be cross stitcher hands down so anyway so this is one of my favorites I really like this one this is from quite a recent issue um yeah last year maybe 245 around 250 350 or 355 three I almost get this wrong 345 um we're on what 355 now so yeah last year I really like that I think it's the colors more than anything vintage brooch never never quite got round to stitching that one but it's really lovely I liked, the, I liked it when they did them in paper envelopes rather than plastic. I really did. This one was uh, actually part of a double pack that came with oh, I remember that. Uh, the scissor case. And it actually has all the zip and everything. So one day when I get my sewing machine fixed, when the shop reopens, hey, every Monday when the shop reopens, I can um, stitch that and have a go at the put, inserting a zip. Because I kind of think, well, that's an ideal thing to start and play with and just see how it goes. What do you reckon? Cute? Cute. It doesn't include any interfacing, so I'd probably put some interfacing on the back of that before I stitched it all together. And this, this one here, Follow Your Heart, which is actually a Cross Stitch Crazy kit. Um, it's cute. Maybe I'd swap the pink pom-poms for some blue pom-poms, maybe. But, yeah, you know, it comes with a plastic hoop and everything. Would work well on my, on my uh, hoop wall. Or possibly Lottie would steal it. That's eat. Follow Your Heart. Yeah, I'll have a go in my bedroom or your bedroom. Yeah, yeah. That's the kind of thing Lottie would look at and go, I quite like that. Um, I know she commandeered a couple of kits for herself and went, please stitch this for me on a couple of other things too. So, so I think last time we went through the box, you yeah, um, Yeah, you picked a couple more for your, don't kick the tripod, cross-stitch collection of things I will probably never stitch, but they're pretty. She's like a little magpie. So... Right, so that's the cover kits. So, 100, 100 cover kits. I could do 
like the next five manias on these because I keep adding to them. I've done this month's cover kits from Cross Stitcher. Ooh. So um, and I'm going to go digital with Cross Stitch Crazy because this madness needs to stop. But I will keep buying Cross Stitcher because I like Cross Stitcher. Um, and then we've got uh, every time I go to Hobbycraft, I have to look and just see what their little mini kits are like these. Um, some of you might be familiar with mouse fluff kits and they're very much similar to those, just a little tiny kit. So I even have them sectioned up, I have that many. Um, Christmas ones and I buy them with the intention of stitching, obviously with the intention of stitching them for like little cards and stuff, but never do. So. They also become little presents from friends and things as well. And we've got a set, some ones that DMC produced. Mm -hmm. I, like, I like the old sculpture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's cute, isn't it? You could easily, I could easily make that into a lighthouse. Yeah. It's the right shape. Remove the slide. Unless that's the new way that lighthouse keepers it escape the get out of the lighthouse. I also seem to keep all the charts from ones I have stitched. I like that one, the bee. Yeah, I think I did that as a curse of a grandma and granddad or something like that. And some of their little tiddler ones, which are the tiny ones. I stitched that one for grandma. They've made it into a key ring for her. Yeah. Remember that? And grandma was very And then a few more here. It was a coaster. No, I did a coaster, but I did that little one as a keyring as well. So just a few more of the animals. Oh, the beach huts. Stitched that for eighty for a swap before now, and I think I won that one from Cross Stitcher for writing in and or one of the magazines. Oh, seahorse I've stitched. Oh yeah, because that's a partial kit. Stitched the seahorse. The giraffe as well. So this is the collection of kits that I forget I have. Mini kits. Um, I'll have the big box go and then lock past us the big box. And this is the box of kits. Handles broke. No, I didn't pick them up. Oh, okay. So, 15 years worth of kits that I've collected and probably never stitched and been gifted. Some of them I've stitched. There's a few in here that I have stitched. Um, and things that you know when you just kind of go up but you just don't know what to do with it and I'm not one for doing slash and loads and things like that because yeah I just don't so things like so we got Tatty Teddy and yeah. that one I have stitched yeah that's that's done says yeah. I don't agree it is I won that from Cross Stitcher mm -hmm. oh Cross Stitch Crazy sorry because it has the thing in the back of it saying so yeah, black work kit. Right, here. Um, giraffes. I love this. One day I'll do it. I do love my giraffes, but I have a thing about how they have to. They have to look quite realistic. We picked this one up in a charity shop for three pound because I wasn't going to leave a brand new Bobby Threads kit in a charity shop. So. I know that's why I picked it up because I figured you, you might like it, might might want to stitch it, or I might stitch it for you, or probably other way around. Yeah, probably. I've got the three kits that um, realist kits that oh, that's, crafting that's, between chits with Samantha sent, and they've got beads and ribbon embroidery and stuff. They're really cool. Puddings. Yeah, so that's like those you do with ribbons. Look. Yeah. What you got there. We got. You got this like the printed some of the pens. There's, 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 yeah, I've got two of them. Mum, then, then that's the that side. Oh well, you get the picture. It's a tray, and then I've got one that's flowers. I think. Yep. I'll just chuck it on the floor. Like. Seem to accumulate lots of these little hoop kits from Tiger. Tiger. I do love them. I've used the, a few of them. We've got a hanging basket with a butterfly. That was a present from a friend. 
to fit where it came from then. But you got that as a cosy in my bedroom. You stitch that one. Yeah, I do. I do tend. Uh, yeah, I do tend to keep all. Oh, look, more mini mini kits. Look, mini kits. Lottie's gonna. Lottie can file these away properly for me. Yeah. As most stitchers do, I look out for mini little kits where I get whenever I go places. Those, oh, those can all go in Quite there. Quite a few bookmarks. That can go in there as well. Stitch that. So, just lo lots of gifts from friends, actually. Got a lot of bookmarks. Here. Yeah, bookmarks. Well, I used to go to the Creative Craft Show every year, and they had a couple of good. Um, yeah, pop them in there, please. Uh, a, couple, a couple of really good uh, stalls where you discounted Which kits. One? Is this the animal one? Oh, just, yeah, and there's one animals and there's a Christmas one. And then yeah. A, yeah, something like that. But, oh, this one's the one. Oh. And um, so every year I'd pick up, you know, kits like that for two or three pounds and ended up with quite a few of them. So let's see what else we've got. Christmas or animals? Christmas. Nope. Um... I was gifted a big box of kits from a friend, which included some of these and your. Mm, I bought that one. Okay. My auntie gave me this to complete, but it is so full of mistakes and. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, is there's a bit of the bird done? Yeah, the bit of the bit. It's just not. Let's have a quick look and see where it's at. Oh. But I know there's mistakes in it because I remember getting it out and looking and thinking, where do I start? Where should I put the mum one? Oh, I'll just shove it in anywhere a lot. There's my filing system, just shove it in. It's in the right place. Okay, so it's not as much stitched as I thought. But I don't even it's know if the Yeah, I don't even know if the fabric's orientated in the right way. Mm. Yeah, it looks like it probably is actually. I don't know if I'd ever be actually it won't do up, Lottie, don't worry. It's the kind of thing, if I did stitch it now, I'd probably just stitch that and be done with it. No, the whole thing. Yeah, I don't know. But it's been in here for a long time. Oh, and the shark's all been highlighted as well, so it doesn't make it easier. Um... We've done those, done that, done that. Kit's on the floor. We'll we'll work it out later. Oh, DMC embroidery, uh, anchor embroidery kits. I had great ideas for doing these, which I really, really like. They're really pretty. And I did one of them. They are really pretty, but they're only like two inches square. So I thought, well, I've got loads of threads and it's a whole big piece of fabric. Why don't I make them bigger? Which I did. And now I regret doing that because now it means I'll have to do it for all of them. Or I get an aperture. Or, or you can make... Let me go, Heather, sense. proof I can do French knots. That's it. I'm looking at You can do French knots, but you, but you, but you would thought you use beads. Yeah, I do prefer to use beads. It even has little gems you stick on them as well. So, one day. Oh, should I put that away? That might be helpful. We used to have, one of our department stores used to have a really good haberdashery section. I'm sure I picked them up from there. Possibly order them online. I don't know. I think I got the first one from there. I'm possibly them somewhere. I have needlepoint kits. So I was gifted this. Why wow, that's a lot of thread. Well, it's because it's wool rock. Yeah. It's, makes, it's full coverage, makes a cushion. Um, but that involves me getting out a floor frame and everything and, you know, maybe. Got another little Disney character. A little Disney cars kit. This is one of those partially pre-printed Ada ones from Candomar that you stitch part bits of it. Again. 
I bought it because my mum loves really likes Monet's um, like water lilies in the gardens, Japanese gardens and stuff. That was 15 years ago, and I get another one I was gifted. And again, another one that I probably will never stitch because it's not really my aesthetic. So this is kind of the place where kids just go to never be never see see the light of day again. I mean, realistically, as I put a few of these and you get to see the top of my, well, my shoulder. One, two, three. Realistically, I think in this thing there's probably only maybe eight I would stitch now. I probably ought to de-stash, but yeah. And it's also got another kit that I started, which is my, which is the Faith Bird, um, which I've done a lot on the bird. And I don't, it's currently UFO'd because, I don't know, it, the bird gave me such grief, basically did. So where are we at lot? What we got in there? So um, books. Should, oh, books, books, leaflets, and stuff like that. Eh? And then at the end, it's do this. Yeah. So not only do the cross stitch magazines give lots of kits away, or cover gifts, they're never free. Let's face it. I also have ended up with a lot of booklets. Now a lot of these end up with are designs that are taken from magazines. Um, but I really like them. A lot of them I do get rid of, but there's always a few that we'll probably give give away quite a few. Of them. I do give away quite a few, but I, I do like the ones that have got black work designs in, so I tend to keep those. Like that. Um, I have quite a few Joan Elliott ones. Emma Congdon, more black work. This is absolutely one of my favourites and it's really battered. The kids at um, Andy's made things from Minecraft using, in Minecraft using these. Dad? Yeah, he, uh, he did that dragon, I think. Oh, no, I've stitched that dragon for him. He did a dragon or something on the wall. Another Joan Elliott fantasy one. and I really like that sampler on the front. Oh, that's nice. I can see you stitching that. Yeah. So I do, you know, I, I keep some of the ones I like. And then there's other random leaflets. Always love that. Never stitched it. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Yeah, no, I was just looking for something. And then I've stitched, I did stitch that design as a purple and yellow biscorny. Because I know that Stitching Joanne was talking about stitching something in purple and in, in, in yellow. And I remember they had, uh, I'd done that. So and there's a few other, you know. Oh. This is going to take a lot of tidying up today. More biscornu and black work. I think I've stitched something in that colourway as well. Um, yeah, John Elliot and Leslie Tier one alphabets, sewing motifs. Another Joan Elliot. Another Joan Elliot. Emily Peacock. Joan Elliot. Oh no, Leslie Tier. Yeah. Mm, I do. There's some just some next steps in. Well, it's not technically cross stitch if you're doing black work or pull thread, but I have done. I did do that pull thread design on a biscorny. Yeah, everything gets turned got turned into a biscorny. And I have stitched. I think I stitched the. I have a feeling I've stitched that. But I don't know where it is. I think that might be on the black work. I don't think it is on there. I think it was, I wanted to go put it on the band sampler, but I don't think I did. But but we'll talk about more about black work in an upcoming video. What else we got left? A black work. A I'm black. gonna I'm gonna do yes. I'm gonna do focus on black work. Um, just a few Christmas charts and things in this one. Always like that design. Oh, let's make it an ornament. 
and then just some DMC charts. These are all laminated as well. And I picked it up when I, I picked these up when one of our well, um, oh needlework. One of the oh words, Kerry. The sewing centre was basically getting rid of all its. It was a kind of very much a cross stitch and other like needle point and things like that. And they stopped doing it to focus on quilting. And I picked up um, a few. Um, I picked up a few charts and bit not you know for pence and things like that. Uh, just a few more charts. So basically, my maybe I will use them chart book pile. Let's have a quick sip of coffee. Other things I've got along there are things, um, magazines. magazines and catalogues from bead companies and things like that. Which they no longer do because everything's online. So, but I picked out some of your favourite books. Uh, yes, I picked out some of my favourite books. Um, I've bought over the years, bought lots like the um. Jane Netley Mayhew animals, you know, the safari one and around the world ones. And so I've got quite a few of those books. Maybe I'll include a picture at the end of just my little library. Um, but I love this book. and But it's one of those books I often forget I've got when I've sat and Googled how to do um, stitches. But it's basically got stitch diagrams for 200 stitches in it. Do it have the fly stitch? It has the fly stitch. And I probably should have looked it up from here. But it goes right into hard hanger techniques and everything. So, um, as you can see, I've marked a lot of pages that I'm interested in. But it's a really nice little book. Um, I won. I think I won. I either won this or was gifted this. I can't remember. I have a feeling I won it. So, but oh, um, it's a flower models by Leslie Tier. I do love her designs. I really do. She's one of my favourite designers, um, especially with black work. Um, I love this one here. Well, these really bold ones at the bottom. I really, I do love bold, bloomy designs. And then, of course, we have the Michael Powell books. Is it called the Unclosed Fly Stitch? I think it's just the Fly Stitch, darling. Okay. And we all know about the um, what was it? Fancy Art House. But I do like. I really, I do like his design aesthetic. I've got some of his charts, um, and I really would like to do some of the Christmas ones. It's just not enough time in the day. So Michael Powell, uh, twenty to stitch. I like these little twenty-two books. Um, they can get them of all, all sorts, like cross stitch, uh, obviously cross stitch, uh, crochet, knitting, belting button crafts and all sorts so and then a really old book but one I refer to a lot um two hour country cross stitch two hours my foot but you know there's no way that something with you know with a couple of thousand stitches in takes two hours but I'm gonna look I'm back here some, just some really good patterns just for biscornu and things like that so um Comes with a random piece of half started Ada, including a needle. Cracky, those stitches are terrible. If I didn't know better, I would have said a child did it. What? But because the stitches are terrible, but it could be because they've been smooshed in a book. I do like the fact it's got lots of, I mean, these are sayings, but lots of alphabets in. Fonts. Yeah, different fonts and things like that. So. Yeah, we your emails. Yeah, so if you. Sometimes you just, that's what you do need, little fonts and things like that, so Whoa. this is quite good for that. Lottie's currently reading the, um... Good looking at the index. The stitches, yeah. So she's cu currently, we're currently reading canvas work stitches. And this is one, another one of my favourite books. Um, yeah, I lo I've loved this book for a long time. Never, uh, well, so I have stitched them, I've, I stitched some semaphore flags for a cross, for a biscornu, I did. It's about uh, um, my initials and the other person's initials in it. I did a Biscorni swap one. I think it was my first Biscorni swap, but I really do like this. Uh, let me find my favourite one. I should have marked the page before we started, shouldn't I? Um, 
Oh no, oh, and I stitched. Uh, I bet there's not going to be. I stitched that sun one, I think, as well, for a gift. I forget. I'm fairly sure it was that one. They do not have the fly stitch in here. They do, I've looked it up already. It's page 103. Things you know. Okay, there we go. I love that lighthouse with the alphabet. That is really cool. Well, one day, one day. I think it's the things with books. You forget, sometimes you forget you have them and really want to stitch something out of them. But, and I like the, oh, that one there, which you can't see very well. 103. Yes. Okay, I'm wrong then. So, try 113. But, this has some really lovely designs in it, and one day, one day. It's just the mock up of it there, but I like the on the seaside one. And I don't know where, the, where it is then, but it's in there. Loads of different alphabets and samplers and things like that, so yeah, it's really cool. Uh, it's just it's got a really nice clear layout so one of my favorite books and it lives just here just so i can always keep it see it all the time there we go we'll tidy up as we go along so um that's pretty much the rest the second part of my stash dive uh what are you pointing at you say you said you'll tidy up as you go along oh well yeah i've tidied the books up as i went along um so, oh, it's a little helper. I'll probably throw some photographs in at the end of things that, you know, my needle minder collection and stuff like that. Or um, maybe I won't. We'll see. So, uh, thanks for watching uh, my stash dive part two. Um, I, ha I myself have got quite a few books and stuff on black work, so we'll cover those. Oh, that's the point. I didn't see that chart. I just realised there's a chart missing or two. Hmm, I wonder where they are. Um, my Art Nouveau ones and oh no because they're charts I think they're one of the charts and kits ignore me don't worry about it don't worry um, so I will uh, see you back next week for a regular edition and take care and happy stitching so, oh hang on look oh, what, what have I forgot we're going to have a giveaway we're going to have a, a giveaway so this week's special edition giveaway mm -hmm. is this cat bookmark if you would like to stitch this cat bookmark um you need to comment down below i would like to stitch um the cat bookmark there we go and i'll i'll draw it in a couple of weeks time i think uh oh, 12 today 12 today i will not say three weeks so not um Floss tube 74 next week. Floss tube 75? Let's go with, we'll draw it in floss tube 75. There we go. Um, and so, thanks for watching. Take care and happy stitching, everyone. Bye.